What's up guys, it's Hitman XD. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys an efficient way to bring your creative fighter through career mode. Uh, first thing you want to do is go to your attributes and bring in, bring them up, two of them up to 20 all the way and the other one uh, up to 13 I believe which is the rest of your points. Uh, it doesn't matter which two, I would go with speed and strength, that way you can knock out people faster. Uh, then go ahead and go to your skills and move all your important skills up to 20. Uh, which is the max and leave the other ones at one uh, make sure you use all your points I believe at the end you'll end up with one being like 13 or something because that's just what's left over but uh, this is important because um, your stats will decay so go ahead and leave everything else at one and do the stats that you want up to 20 uh, most of them are gonna end up decaying anyways so there's no reason to spread them out because they'll all decay all right you guys, once you're all done with that, I'll explain to you why um, why we're doing it this way and why that's important. All right, the first thing you want to do is go to training, and the two attributes that you put up to 20. Um, in this case, I did speed and strength. I'm gonna go ahead and keep training and get one of them up to 30. And so you want to go to training, um, I'm choosing speed here, I want to go intense to get all the way up to 30. And it's important not to go past 30 for any of the, the attributes because if you go past 30 they'll decay back down to 30 anyways. So go ahead and only go to 30. Um, of course rest anytime you, you are your fatigue is over 60%. If it's a below 60%, like at 55%, you can go ahead and uh, train or spar. But in this case we're training. As you can see, I've, I've already done uh, my speed up to 30, and now I'm working on my training my strength up to 30. Again, it's important not to go to 31, because that'd be a waste. Just go ahead and go to 30. Rest anytime you're up 60% or above fatigue. Looks like we're almost there to 30. And there we are. Now we have uh, two of our attributes, speed and strength, up to 30. And looks like we got one week left before the fight. Um, I'm not going to train or spar because my fatigue, that would uh, make my fatigue too high for the fight. So I'm going to go ahead and do um, a game plan which gives you 10% fatigue back and gets you ready for the next fight. At any time during this process, if you get new sponsors, go ahead and add as many logos as you can to your shorts. Um, that'll gain you uh, popularity points and sponsor points. Also, if you get any um, events, go ahead and do the events in between. As far as selecting your next fight, always go with the guy with the lowest uh, rating because that, that means your sparring will be easier. So now you have two of your attributes up to 30, go ahead and let's get that third one up to 30, which in, in this case it's cardio. So I'm going to train, um, intense, and get the cardio up to 30. Once you get that up to 30, you can go ahead and start sparring to get your attributes um, all up to 30 one at a time. Your attributes have probably dropped a little bit since then, like if you see on, on this screen, they're all down to 17, and some of them are at zero because I left them at one to begin with. Now the most important thing about sparring is after you spar, if you don't have enough points to move a skill up to 30, um, go ahead and save your points. Do not use any, because if you use it and bring one of your skills up to 25, it's just going to decline, so it's better just to leave them in your, um, save them, and then wait till you have enough to bring it up to 30 like in this case uh, looks like everything's at 14 and I have 16 points saved so I can move it exactly up to 30 so I do it up to 30 you can pick anyone I want anyone you want um, I went ahead and picked uh, standing strikes first because that'll help me knock out the opponent do whatever you, you uh, feel fits your gameplay the best if you're a ground and pounder I would do a ground striking offense up to up to 30 
So you're going to rinse and repeat this method, keep sparring and saving your points until you have enough to move a single attribute up to 30. All the other ones will probably move down to zero, but it's okay. Once you get it up to 30, they won't decline so you can start to work on your other ones. Um, you can go ahead and do a couple camps in between all this and learn just a couple moves that will help you in your gameplay and help you defeat your fight the fighters easier. Um, as here I am training to do a high right head kick I believe and you also might want to do some kind of slam uh, like a belly to belly suplex from uh, double underhooks because that will help you get the fighter to the ground. But I, I wouldn't recommend doing too many moves, I would do one or two moves. Um, sparring, a couple tips for sparring is you get points for number of strikes you land and you get subtracted points for the number of strikes that he blocks. You also get a point for each transition you do and each takedown and you get uh, points subtracted for each transition blocked or, or um, takedown that he does. So I recommend hitting him a couple times, change it up, go high, go low, do a couple leg kicks because it doesn't matter how much damage you do, uh, just that you nail your strikes. Once you get him on the ground, go ahead and kick him a couple times and if you get him on the ground, I would not try to advance positions because he'll most likely block transitions and you'll lose a point every time he blocks a transition. So just when you get him on the ground, jump on top, do a couple strikes, and then stand back up. And I never recommend uh, manual, I mean doing auto sparring because you don't earn as many points. Auto, you, you can earn a lot more in manual. Um, that sparring session that I just showed you, I did decent. You can do a lot better, but this is also the beginning of my career, so I guess that was okay. So after the sparring, you see how many points you earned. If you have enough to move a skill up to 30, go ahead and do it. If you don't, save your points. In this case, it looks like I'm going to move a takedown offense up to 30, because I want to be able to take the guy down and ground and pound him a little bit. Again, make sure you rest when you're at 60% fatigue or above. If you're not, go ahead and train or spar. Keep repeating until you reach this, which is uh, you get to increase your cap on either your training or your sparring. Um, in this situation, I went ahead and chose training, and you can choose any one of these. And what this does is it raises the, your cap so that you can move your attributes up to the next level. So I went ahead and chose training. You can do, do sparring also, one or the other, it doesn't matter. But I, I went ahead and chose training, so now I get to move my strength up to 50. Because 50 is the next uh, point that it doesn't decay. So once you get that up to 50, you can go back to concentrating on sparring to move your skill points. then uh, that's pretty much it. You keep repeating this. And remember to stop at 30, 50, and 70. And uh, once you get to 70, your fighter, all his skills and attributes will be at 70. And you just go ahead and uh, fight the rest of your career at 70 and keep saving up your points until you're almost retired. And then you put them all in to make your fighter um, at 100. You'll have a lot of points at the end and the career goes for 12 years. So again, leave every... When you get to 70 for everything, you want to leave everything at 70 and start banking your points. And uh, that should be it. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, uh, go ahead and post a comment, send me a message. Uh, this is Hitman, and I'm signing off. If you guys like my videos, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.